Hi friends, I'm back. I'm recording a video I haven't done in a long time, which is a get ready with me. It's been a while, it's been a long time. I wanted to talk about raising my vibrations and how I do that because if you saw my latest video, you might know that my vibrations have been low. So I've been working hard to raise them and yeah, it's working. I mean, as much as I can. There's a window there, so the lighting might be like weird, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, my eye is red. Do you see that? Oh, I'm tripping. Okay, so I'm doing my makeup. Oh, I shaved my hair. Length, inches, what? Do you see that? It's so long now. It's literally past my boobs. I cut it like up to here last time I straightened it. So I'm just like, I can't believe how long it is. Okay, so we're gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna do my makeup. And um, I had coffee, if you can't tell. And we're gonna talk about raising vibrations and how we do that. I also have some decaf tea here. I don't know how that works. It's like a decaf black tea. It's vanilla nut cream tea. Yes, vanilla nut cream. How I raise my vibrations. There's a few ways that I do it. I wrote a list because there's a few ways, like I said. So the first thing that I do, not the first thing, sorry, these aren't in order, but one of the things that I do is I make a comfort drink or food. Usually when my vibrations are low, I'm not in the mood to cook. So I'm just gonna talk about drink, <sighs> non-alcoholic. <clears throat> when my vibrations are low, I can't drink because I spiral and I like to try and keep a healthy relationship with alcohol. So I don't really drink when I'm like upset. And if I do, it's like a light cooler. But what I mean by comfort drink is like a tea, a hot chocolate, something that reminds me of my childhood. So for example, um, something I drank a lot as a kid is Abuelita's hot chocolate, which is like this Mexican hot chocolate. I'm not Mexican, I'm Salvadoran, but we all drink it, all Hispanics drink it. It's, um, yeah, it's, just, it's like this Mexican hot chocolate. It's a big comfort drink for me and I might have something like that. I have a little tea, a decaf tea, a matcha, a green tea. When I'm really on edge, I avoid caffeine, but like when I start to get better, like now, I start going back to caffeine and I just make myself a comfort drink. So I suggest that, like it could be whatever. It could be ginger tea, it could be lemon water. I just think that having like a cup of like something warm is usually it for me and it really helps me out. Okay, another way that I raise my vibrations is gonna sound silly and I don't know like if you do it, you're gonna understand what I mean. Just like dancing like legitimately like no one's watching, playing like an uplifting playlist, it really does a lot. I like to play Queen, I like to play 80s music, I like to play Ariana Grande. I like Chalambo and stuff like that. And I just dance. I literally dance because I feel like when you are dancing, you're literally releasing. I mean, there's probably a scientific way of explaining it, but like you are releasing all that energy. Like I will put on Feeling So Good by Jennifer Lopez or um, Good Day by Nappy Roots. And I'll just dance. Like I will dance in my room and no one will see me and I'll dance like, an idiot and it feels so good to just like let off all that energy and then when you finish you just feel like you're in a better mood so dance another thing i've been doing recently is walking bitch i didn't even know i liked walking i actually really enjoy walking i'm sad because the weather dropped again so i can't walk i mean i can but like i don't like walking in the cold yeah i went for some walks i just brought my phone with my music but i didn't like play music i mean what <laughs> i didn't use my phone i just played the music so i was just walking and i started seeing all the things that i miss when i'm driving like i started seeing people's gardens i started seeing like like oh that's a nice house oh wow i never saw this like all of these things i'm seeing and i'm like have these always been here and I was thinking and I was reflecting and then I went to some park that I just came across. I moved here in 2019, so I've never explored my area. So like doing that was really interesting. Then I went to like this park and I sat on these bleachers and I sat there for like an hour just listening to music and reflecting and just like being there. Like I always feel like I have to be in front of a nice view to appreciate the outdoors and my surroundings, but like really all I need is air. Like that's all I need, I just need air. And then I went home and I felt good. Like I felt like all the thoughts that I would have had in my room all sad got to like leave itself outside. And it was really nice. Like walking is a great way to raise your vibration. And I never really realized that. And I think it sounds so silly because like, which everyone walks, but it just felt nice. And I was 
pleasantly surprised that I enjoyed it as much as I did. And so I am continuing to walk and go on walks and enjoy that, which is different for me. So that's a new thing I've been doing. Another way that I raise my vibrations is by listening to uplifting music, like I mentioned, but like you don't always have to like dance to it. Just listen to positive stuff. Like even if the beat is positive and the lyrics are not, I would avoid it. I would listen to only things with positive lyrics because, and upbeat is good too, but because like it's feeding your subconscious brain and you don't want to be like listening to sad girl shit when you're sad and just falling deeper into that and not knowing why. Like you think you can handle it, but sometimes we just can't because our brains are just like retaining all that information without us really realizing, right? So like if Janae's talking about I'm this, I'm that, I'm sad, I'm mad, I wanna kill you, blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah, it's all fun to get hyped to it when you're in the right mode. But when you're trying to lift your vibrations, like you don't need that energy. You want positivity, you want good day by nappy roots, you want toast by coffee, you want feeling so good by JLo. If you want my like positive vibes playlist, let me know and I can share it. Another way to raise your vibrations is by getting cute, <laughs> like me today. I'm filming today, so I decided to get cute, and I'm gonna just like get some content done, make some TikToks, take some pictures, feel cute, and then go for a walk, looking cute by myself, talk to nobody, but just feeling cute, you know? Because why not? Maybe it sounds shallow, but when I feel good about myself, I mean, I always do feel good about myself because I do know that I'm beautiful and all that. But there's days that like I just like don't feel my prettiest, or with with my hair, it's so hard to maintain that like I have to put so much work into it to just feel good and like you know. But when you're kind of going through shit, you don't feel like waking up and doing your wash and go and then letting your hair set and then diffusing it. And you don't want to do all that. So I just said, fuck it. And I straightened my hair because I haven't straightened it in like five months or more. And I'm like, let me just feel good about myself. Straighten my hair. Be very careful with the heat and wake up and feel pretty. Prettier than I normally do because it's easy and I don't have to do it. I just have to wake up and it's, you know, so I did that. I straightened my hair and I feel good. It's long, which makes me really happy because that means I have been taking care of it and I feel good. Like, I feel like when you look your best, you instantly feel a little bit better about yourself or what you're going through. And if that's what it takes, then so be it. Go put some makeup on and get cute. And if you cry it off, you cry it off, you know? It is what it is. But if you don't, then you look cute all day. And that doesn't hurt anybody. Another thing I do to raise my vibrations is I shower. I shower every day, duh. I mean, not duh, some people don't shower i sometimes because i work from home and like i do my own thing i sometimes shower a little bit later when you're home and you're doing nothing you might be falling into some sadness and some sad thoughts and i guarantee you if you get in the shower and you cry in there or you just sit and you just think and you just you know like you just shower and you get clean when you get out you might not feel great but you'll feel better, I promise you. You will feel better. Like Sometimes I'll, I'll be sitting there like, I know that if I just shower, I'm gonna feel better, but I'm too lazy and I'll just avoid it for hours. And then when I finally come out the shower, I'm like, I should have done this hours ago. I feel so much better. So showering really lifts my vibrations. Okay, I'm gonna put my lashes on because whenever I do it on camera, I get nervous. My lashes are on. I kind of want more blush because I feel like, <laughs> I don't know, I just love blush. I love putting blush on my nose when I'm sad because it makes me look happier. I'm not sad, but I'm sad, you know? Like, overall, sad energy. Um, but right now I'm in a good mood, which is nice. So I'm trying to just like go with the good moods rather than like dwelling on how long is this gonna last. Another thing I do to raise my vibrations, I take six deep breaths. It's like a meditation technique that I learned through a bunch of different guided meditations. I found that like a lot of guided meditations have like in for four, out for four, six times. And usually by the sixth breath, I feel like I'm like in a deeper trance or like I feel calmer. So I just started implementing that into like my regular life and not just like during meditation. So if I'm feeling anxious, if whatever's happening, I'll go like this. and I breathe out slowly. So I count one, two, three, four, and I breathe out with my mouth usually, and I do that six times. And again, by the sixth breath, you will, if you had a pit in your stomach, if you had a certain energy, 
you'll feel a little better. Is it gonna cure all your problems? No, <laughs> but it will help. Yeah, breath work usually helps me. Oh, another thing that helps me that I, I didn't even write, I have a list, crystals. I love crystals. I love holding on to a good chunk of amethyst, black tourmaline, aquamarine. Aquamarine's a really calming stone. I don't know, whatever I'm drawn to, I like just holding on to them. If it's in my pocket, I'll just touch it lightly or I just, even looking at them sometimes, just like, I don't know, sometimes it's like a reminder, but sometimes it's like actual energy healing. So it all depends on the day and how I use it. So that helps too. And some good old mindful content, some Ashley Flores TV, <laughs> some Liara Alexandra or some funny content either mindful or funny, like Shits Creek, Superstore, those shows are really good. Black AF or spiritual content really helps me. I don't like to watch drama when I'm in this mood. Like, I don't like to consume YouTube drama or anything like that, unless it's frenemies. Yeah, I guess that's it. That's how I raise my vibrations. I hope it helped you in some way because when your vibrations are low, it's really hard to like want to do things or you just feel like you're gonna be stuck in it. And I feel like if you do at least one of these things, you will feel a little better. Like if your energy's over here, okay, let's say this is regular happy energy and let's say you're down here. It'll at least bring you up here and maybe another one will bring you up here and you just keep going. I think if there's one you're gonna do, if there's one you're gonna do, dance it off. Put on Don't Stop Me Now by Queen. Put on Come On Eileen. Put on Nappy Roots uh, Good Day and dance that shit off. Ooh, what's the other one? I Am Blessed by Mr. Bass. <laughs> Put on some happy music and just dance it off. And the energy you're gonna feel is like, gonna be like coming off of you, like radiating off of you. Your body's gonna get hot and you're gonna feel like it's literally like leaving you, so that helps. This tea is so yummy. Yeah, okay, so that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. I don't know what else to say. All I know is that I look good. I feel good. My hair is growing. Um, will I be sad later? Maybe, but right now I'm okay and I'm gonna go with that, so yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.